Hey guys, so I was just in Lytle and like I have no food, like I have food, but like I don't have like meals, but I was in Lytle and I saw this, it's a picture frame and you put six pictures in it. It's just this really pretty heart and I'm like, I think my grandma would like this and I'm like, it was surprisingly affordable for like a nice picture frame. So I got that from my grandma. I'm just going to go in the back seat for now. I'm going to go home and like look at the pictures I have of us together and see about like if I can get them printed out before I go up there or like maybe print out some and leave like some empty because I'm going to be up there for a while and we could like make more memories. But then I got stuff to make tacos and I got mitts which can stay in the car. Yeah, I got stuff for tacos. I feel like tacos would be so great right now. And I have like rice and black beans at home. Oh, you slide it. <laughs> okay. I popped the lid off. You're supposed to slide it like this. But yeah, let's go home and make some tacos because I am hungry. Wow, I, my hair is voluptuous. I don't know how I feel about it, but. I have a phone call with someone in like an hour, so I'm going to have some lunch, so I'm hungry. Did not sleep that well, did not sleep that much, but I need to start packing and cleaning because I leave tomorrow, which is exciting, but also just like, ah, oh, where did the month go? The over, I was here over a month, where did all that time go? Let's have some lunch. Guys, so I'm back in the bedroom. I did not sleep well last night like I, I think i slept like two hours and today's just been kind of a day of me packing cleaning i'm gonna wait and vacuum until the morning because i'm just gonna be walking around and making more of a mess so i'm like we don't need to vacuum yet but I need to dust kind of get all my stuff collected i have most of it packed it's just like putting it in the car which i don't want to do yet because in the morning i'm gonna go get gas and some snacks before like I had out and the people get back at around one so I just kind of want to have like all of that stuff ready so when I do have to stop and like fill up on gas I don't end up paying four dollars for like a soda because they cost so much at like a gas station getting like a drink at a gas station is wicked expensive we're gonna get like some snacks for the road tomorrow and get gas and yeah, then like come back, make sure everything's finished up. So that is the plan. It's kind of like bittersweet because I've been here for like a month and yeah, it's like the time has passed very quickly. I, when I did like my first house sit with trusted house sitters back in July, I was there for like 18 days and those 18 days dragged on so long. But I feel like the time really flew while I was here. And I'm like, what did I do? I read a lot of books. I watched some, like, new movies, caught up on the TV shows. And I haven't really been writing. I've been, like, editing. I worked on the paint that painting that I didn't really like in the end. Yeah, I did a lot of editing and revising of past projects. Yeah. But I guess we'll see what tomorrow brings me. I know. I am sweating. I'm hot. It's warm in here, but the people weren't supposed to be here until like 1 o'clock, 1 p.m. Hi, Squeaky. 1 p.m. And I got like a text message this morning at like 8.40 that they're going to be here at 10.30. And I'm like, oh no, because I still have laundry to do. I hadn't like done the kitchen. I haven't vacuumed. I am a A-class procrastinator. And so it's 10.30 right now. I have like everything done and then they just texted me that they're gonna be like another 20 minutes. So it is what it is. 
but we have everything done. Everything's in the car. I still need to stop and get gas and like snacks. I have not had coffee or caffeine yet this morning. So I probably won't get like a headache for another hour or so, but that is imminent. The house, nice and clean. And it'll be nice to, I guess, leave earlier because then I won't have to like be driving so late in the day. So leaving like two hours earlier means I won't get there like 9 p.m. I'll get there a little bit earlier. So that will be nice. Hello. So it's about 2.40 right now and we're over halfway done with this, not really road trip, but <laughs> driving back up to Pennsylvania from North Carolina. It's 2.40 right now. But I think it drove like three hours and 40 minutes. We have three hours left. So we're over halfway there, which I think very good. We are making progress. <laughs> we are getting there. I stopped once to get gas and drinks. I feel like I'm yelling, but if you've ever driven in a Jeep, you know how loud it gets, especially a soft top Jeep, how loud it gets in here. So my eardrums are like not ruptured, but they're, they're getting there. They're very explosive right now, but. That was kind of a weird honk noise. Yeah. We have about three hours left, about 200 miles. <sighs> There's a lot of West Virginia to get through, but I got this at, when I got gas, I had to get gas probably an hour, two hours ago now, but I got Major Melon Mountain Dew, which this has like been my low key road, like tripping drink, cause it's good energy, tastes fruity. But I got this one today. Don't judge how much soda I'm drinking in like a couple of hours. I need to stay awake. I need to have energy. But this is Coca-Cola Starlight. And I've been like seeing this all over like TikTok. People are like, how do they have like a space flavor? They've captured space flavor somehow in this drink. I don't know how they did it. It tastes like, it tastes amazing. It tastes like Christmas time. Like I think there might be like some kind of spice I don't know. Something in it just has like a Christmassy hint. There's like something like that in it. And I, I love it. Uh, it's limited edition. So I'm probably going to try and like buy some more while I'm here in the States to like drink. And maybe just like leave a case in the basement as like a surprise for myself, even though my dad and my sister are going to be coming to Pennsylvania. So I feel like they would drink it without any concern of the limited, limited, can limited edition value of it but yeah I like just went out and looked over this overlook it's really beautiful really lovely just to like kind of get my legs moving because my butt is asleep my butt is tired we need to get back on the road because the sooner I get back on the road the sooner I will have will no longer have to be driving so love that love that when I come back to the states from Dusseldorf I have to drive down to Virginia and that is another like seven hour drive but yeah let's get driving ah i feel like i'm yelling oh and the people everything was like done and clean by the time they got there house is like perfectly good to go so that was good like i finished everything like 15 minutes before but i was kind of like like okay we have to vacuum we have to mop we have to like switch the laundry we have to make sure everything's in there and then we have to like make sure that i have all my stuff so like I just checked to make sure my laptop was in here because like if I forgot that that would have been that would have made me so upset. Laptop's here. Oh, we need to get back on the road. Ah, okay. Three more hours. We got this. Three more hours of tunes, and I'm probably gonna stop again because I didn't pee when I stopped earlier. I just didn't really have to, but I've drinking like a soda, and on half of this I'm probably gonna drink the rest of this. So I'm probably gonna stop in like an hour. Go to the bathroom, get another soda because I don't want to lose my energy. 
But let's get going. Let's get going. And it is an overcast day, but the weather is not bad. Grandma and I are gonna go to CJ Maxx to look for like a wind chime, and then Barnes and Noble to look for books. She's just going to the bathroom right now, and I need to change, not change the oil, I need to add oil. Because I've been doing all this driving, and like we looked in the garage and find it, and I'm like, where would my dad put oil? It was in the Jeep. So. Thanks, Dad, for looking out for a future me. And there's a spider. But I'm wearing my Amor Fati hat because it did come in. I didn't got I didn't get like any shipment notice that it was like on its way, so very happy it's here. But I'm gonna change the oil and then we can get going. Um it does. That's what the smell. Huh? Hi. Oh. You didn't pee, so I wonder if you pee so Come on. Good boy. So excited. Gotta go party. All over. My feet have had it. Have you got that idea? Cute. They look like Disney ducks. Huh? Like Disney ducks. They're pretty. Morning. Guys, so we're downstairs and I'm going to do a riding sprint for about an hour. I had a really nice day with my grandma. We went shopping. She hasn't really been like out and about to different stores since COVID started and walked down two years ago. So we went to like TG Max, Five and Below. Um, we went to like a Chinese buffet for lunch. So very nice, very fun day but it's in the evening now and i'm going to try and do a riding sprint for an hour so let's get started good morning everybody it is a kind of overcast day today and i want to go see the new batman but first, we're gonna fill the gas tank up because my grandma has like a Sam's Club card, so we get some discounted gas, which very nice, very good because it's over four dollars a gallon right now, and I'm already missing <laughs> the prices from North Carolina, where it was like three sixty nine, three thirty nine. On the news this morning, it said that people are paying $16 more to fill up, like, a tank. So, there's that. And we're gonna get coffee, because Panera Bread, they do $8.99 for a month worth of unlimited coffee. But, they, on their app, when I signed up, they had a three-month free, like, trial. So, three months of free coffee. I'm only here for, like, a month. But... I'm taking this because I don't need to be like getting a like throwaway cup every time because that's not sustainable. So I, I found this in my grandma's cupboard. My aunt left this here, so thank you, Aunt Nancy. But we're gonna get gas, get coffee, and we're gonna go see Batman. It's three hours long. I am a bit worried. That is a long movie. Like I have trouble sitting still for like an hour and a half movie. So this is going to be a new experience. Then later today, I'm going to, with my grandma to my cousin's birthday party. I haven't seen him since I was probably like 13. So it's been a good decade since we've like seen each other. So it's just going to be like 
hi i know we haven't seen each other or spoke to each other in 10 years but you are having a birthday party that grandma was going to then i happened to be here and she invited me so thanks okay, so we're gonna get him like a birthday present like he got married a couple months ago Ooh, it looks like it's going to run again, so we need to get going. But yeah, it's going to be a fun evening. Okay, we're back in my car. It is super windy outside, like my hair got tumble tossed. But I just got out of seeing Batman, and I got a coffee from Panera Bread. But we just saw Batman. Oh my gosh, that was so good. It was like three hours. Like literally it started, like they didn't do like all the trailers until 10 o'clock when it started. As soon as 10 o'clock hit, movie started with Batman. And I was pumped. Like the movie keeps you engaged the whole time. And I think probably like four fifths of the way through, I was just kind of like, is the movie almost over? Just because I had been sitting so long, but it keeps you engaged. Like, the it's not hard to watch like a lot of superhero movies they shift like the bright and dark tones so much but these ones they shifted like the dark and light tones but they kept it so you could actually continue seeing what's happening which i'm like wow actually being able to watch a movie that you paid to watch is amazing because you're not like blinded or you're not squinting and you can see everything and i don't know i really liked i thought it was very interesting very like noir themed like noir themed but now we're gonna go to Walmart. I need to get the vegetable plate. I need to get some chips for the party. And then I wanna look at the plants because I feel like just looking at plants today. And we're gonna go do that because it's one o'clock and I'm hungry and I wanna go home and get something to eat. Yes, I'd like to take a picture of her. Um, the other on an island. island. About a week ago. Hey guys, look this way. It's a very pretty. I'm flying. Move close because it was a good picture. Make it you together. Jeez Louise. Don't freak me there. Smile. 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 Hey guys, so we're downstairs in the basement. Just kind of it's where the spare bedroom is at my grandma's house. We just got back from my cousin's birthday party. He turned 25, which is crazy. I remember when we were teenagers and he would yell at us that Beatles were the only good music to listen to. And we disagreed because we loved Selena Gomez and Miley Cyrus because this was back in like 2010 when that was like, those were like the biggest teen singers for our age group. So it was just kind of like funny seeing him again, but we, it was kind of really chaotic because I went with my grandma and I haven't seen him again in like a decade. And it was my uncle's wife's side of the family mostly there and my cousin and his wife and then his older brother. And then they have four adopted children and then the aunt adopted a kid and they're all still kind of small. So it was just kind of, nice seeing them it's very chaotic now i know how all the adults felt with me and my little my sisters growing up how loud and kind of messy we were oh it makes me kind of <laughs> it makes me happy to like how we were as kids but yeah it was just a nice night drove home on the dark windy roads and now we're home i started sketching so if you guys remember, I spray painted that canvas clean because I wanted to do something else with it and I didn't really like like the painting of Icarus. So I have like this nature themed idea. I sketched it this afternoon before I left. It looks like this. I don't know if you can see it, but like there's a horse with some sheep. There's a girl to the left and there's like this big tree with like big branches and then there's a like cliff with a river drop and then more trees and then it goes into like the skyline of New York City that you would see from like Central Park because this is like four or five different pictures that I'm putting into one and kind of combining the themes. I'm kind of interested to see how this turns out. So tomorrow I want to do like the underpainting of like the shadows and everything, especially get like the back done where there is the cityscape so I could work on the forward last. Yeah, but now, so it's just dirt on my face. Um, yes, 
but now we're just gonna get ready for bed because I am pretty tired. I was gonna sign up for that dance class, but apparently there's a wait list, so we're not going to be doing that, which is kind of sad. But, c'est la vie, I will check something else out. Good morning, guys. So, it's about 9.06 and it's a rainy day here today. But I have my sunset alarm clock I was super excited for. It doesn't work. You can set the time or you can set an alarm, but you can't do both. So it, you can't really have an alarm clock because you can't set the time and the alarm at the same time. So it would just ring whenever it wants to. And that does not sound nice for me. I guess I could have like stayed until like midnight when like alarm clocks usually start and then set the alarm then, but that seems counterintuitive because it resets if the power goes out for 60 seconds and my grandma turns like the power switch off sometimes by accident for the basement. So we're gonna go return that. And then they started selling the Billie Eilish perfume in stores at Ulta. So we're gonna go, I checked like the store availability. There's an Ulta like half an hour away, 15 minutes from like the TJ Maxx. So we're gonna return that go to Ulta, see how that perfume smells, because I'm just kind of curious, like, since it's come out. It's supposed to be like a really sweet, coconutty, vanilla perfume, which I love that smell. And I've been looking for like a new springtime perfume, so we're gonna go check it out. Yeah, that's kind of the goal for this morning. Thank you, TJ Maxx. Thank you very much. So I just returned my clock to TJ Maxx. Awesome. Got my money back and I'm like, oh, I'll go walk around. And I missed the perfumes the first time around and then I was like, oh yeah, there they are. I was like, where are they? Guess what I found? I've never seen this at TJ Maxx before. I found a replica. So this is Flower Market and I've never had, um, I've never seen replica at TJ Maxx before. So this is like, yay. And I've been wanting like a spring perfume. So Flower Market, is let's see where is the scent well i looked it up it's supposed to be like gardenia freesia it's like a very fresh it's um province and period is paris 2011 this does smell like paris 2011 but basically i'm so happy with this oh. it smells so nice so springy and it's like an overcast rainy day, so I feel like this is like such a nice perfume. I don't know, I love it. I'm so happy that I found this. And it was $12.99. So these are usually like $30 at Sephora, like $28, probably $30 with tax. So 13 bucks. I'm happy with that. Now we're still gonna go to Ulta because I still want to see what the Billie Eilish perfume smells like. But we have our spring scent. Ooh. Like that gardenia is so pretty, but I'm so happy I found that. And I was just like, I saw like the box cause it was like on its side. And I'm like, is that what I think it is? Because I have the spray of, um, I think it's, is it sailing day? Cause that's the one I have in my bag. Cause it's a really nice and clean scent. I have sailing day in my bag. Then I have jazz club which is like my DC scent. And then I love By the Fireplace. I don't know, Replica is such, their scents are like one of a kind and I really do love them. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so, it smells like a flower market. I'm so happy I got that, okay. And like, I'm wearing like pink and, okay, I'm wearing all Ulta now. That's like, I think 20, 15 minutes away. But yeah, I'm just gonna be like smelling my, like I had sprayed it on my wrist cause I'm like, do I like this? Let's see how I like it. And then I walked around the store and I was just like this. I had my mask on, so I was smelling it through my mask, but I was just like the whole time in the store. So love that for me. Let's go to Ulta. This was a good find. I was like, I'm not gonna spend any money today. And I returned something and then I bought something. So really I made $5. <laughs> That's not how it works, but like, that's how I'm thinking about it. I'm back. So at this mall, there's an Ulta right next to a Marshalls. So I went into Ulta and they had like the Billie Eilish thing like right in front. And 
like little Billy eyelashes. I don't like it. It smells like it's supposed to be a very sweet scent. It smells kind of like not gourmand, but it's very like it smells like a perfume in the worst, not like in a bad way. I didn't like it. It's not my favorite. So I'm kind of I'm glad that I was able to like smell it and figure that out before I like bought it, and then I was kind of been like stuck with it. But then I went to Marshalls and I got toothbrushes. I got these because they're red and pink and I am that simple. Also, I need new toothbrushes, but they're eco-friendly cornstarch toothbrushes. So I have no idea what that means. They're vegan, but like, are these really good for like recycling? I'm gonna look into it because like cornstarch toothbrushes. So it says compostable. So that would actually be really cool if you could just like compost your toothbrush instead of them just ending up in a landfill. So I'm gonna try out. I'm really excited for these because <laughs> like me and dental care are kind of like on neutral ground with each other. Like I brush my teeth, I floss when I think about it. I don't like flossing. But these I'm interested to see how they work out. And now that's done. I want to stop at Target. I need to see if there's a Target close to me because they're having like 20% off um, vitamins right now. I just want to get some like women's multi vitamins. I think they're like 12 bucks, so they'd be like $10. And yeah, I, I kind of want to like, cause I took vitamins the whole time I was in Europe and in the UK. And I kind of haven't done that for like over a month. And maybe that's why my energy has been lower because I just haven't been taking my vitamins that my body was used to. Hey guys, it's a little bit later and we're gonna start the painting. I have some blue mixed up. We're just gonna do the sky right now. It's like, wow, grandma, fashion inspiration. Mm. How's the feast going, Grandma? What? The feast. Oh. <laughs> Good turn, yes. You can turn down. I don't think she is. Well, bring her down here. So, we're in my grandma's basement because I'm just waiting for her to come downstairs. But I picked my mom up from the airport this morning. All was good. Usually, with like the Penn Tunnel, it is chaotic. If you're like, you're from Pennsylvania, you know. But it was all good today. But my grandma and I are going to go walk around the mall. It's an exercise because it's kind of a cold and rainy day. <laughs> I'm trying to go. Your supper, yeah? Mm hmm. Men walked into a deliberate trap. The Germans knew how to jet.